Hello, everybody, and welcome to Between Plays Stock Market Strategies. And uh, today, once again, actually, we have with us Dr. Luisa Moreno, CEO of Grafano Energy Corp. How are you doing today, Luisa? I am good. I'm good, Albert. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, um, no, I'm I'm super excited. Uh, you know, as the young ones would say, I'm super stoked that you're here today. <laughs> um, actually, because you have a, an exciting uh, story and... Um, you know, graphite, uh, it, you know, it's the future, right? I mean, for the EV sector and for the green sector, um, it's a, one of, you know, a, a super important mineral that we need. You know, it's in everything, basically. And uh, well, I think in Quebec, Canada, you guys are probably, well, I think you're the only ones that you're adjacent to Imris, the only producing uh, graphite right. company, right? right. In uh, Quebec, Canada. Is that it? It's, it's Quebec, Canada, correct? It is, it is, it is correct. So it is definitely in Quebec, uh, the only uh, North American, you know, between U.S. and Canada, is the only mine um, currently, any, you know, a graphite mine. Uh, wow. And, and uh, we are right adjacent to them. So actually the claims that we have today used to be owned by them. Uh, so Imri's um, decided a while ago that they didn't want to be in the mining uh, sector. And so they let uh, those claims go and there were vendors, um, they were prospectors that got hold of them and then they, they vended it to, to us. And you guys were smart enough to pick it up. <laughs> that's, yes, that's we, we were, you know, especially a couple of years ago, uh, you know, when nobody was really paying attention, that's when it's uh, the, the the easiest time, let's say, to, yeah. <laughs> to get well, some of these most prospective uh, uh, projects or claims. Well, it seems to have paid off that, you know, you guys did go into this area off of Emirates because when we first had you on the show last year, you had stated that there was going to be drilling that was going to be starting and all this, all this stuff. And we know that there was, you know, you guys, you know, I'll let you do the update since last year. You know, with the drilling uh, and um, your updates, you know, the graphite, uh, you know, you have intersected, correct? Right. No, absolutely. It's, so let's, it's go everywhere. For it. let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, it's everywhere. Let's it's go everywhere. For it. It's definitely there. Okay, let's um, do it. So Right. So, you know, as, as you may recall, we have um, about, so we have two properties now. So when we last spoke, we only had one. Actually, we had, we have now four. But okay, so uh, had, the ones that we are, you had Laco Boulot when we first spoke. Yes, that's the adjacent Correct. for the Imaris. But you have Standard now as well. And now Correct. you're telling me you have more. I got to hear this. Yes, yes. But we have not really uh, spent much time working on 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 in the other, you know, on on the other ones. But the two that we have spent time is you're right. You're right. Is Laco Boulot and and Standard. So Laco Boulot is the one that is adjacent to uh, Lac de Zille, Lac de which Zille. is the producer, the producing um, mine uh, today. Yes. You know, yes. they don't have a lot of mine life left. Uh, so according heard. to, yeah, according to Northern Graphite that now owns, used to be Ymiris and Ymiris divested. And so they basically sold it to them. Yep. Um, so they, they announced last year, they had three years mine life. So right now they probably have about two years mine life left yes. so they are very eager as you might understand to find more as well and and that's uh, another conversation that we can have but uh, yes so we we definitely did a lot of uh, respective uh work so we have eight zones at la Cobulio, and uh, we we looked at zone one and zone three zone four and a little bit of the zone eight we also have a historical resource. We have a pit uh, with historical resource with about 200,000 tons contained sort of graphite. Okay. And uh, we did a little bit of uh, prospecting and drilled that, that area as well, just to confirm that that, that that is there and it definitely is there. So we have uh, drilled between last year, uh, in last, last year actually, yeah. uh, we drilled the two programs that we did uh, about 5,000 meters. And um, and we, like I said, different zones, just really, it was exploration drilling. 
initially we did prospecting. So essentially we look for outcrops and then we did trenching and channeling and sampling to identify where to drill. Yeah. And then so, and then we went in and we drilled and, and sure enough, it, it, it definitely, it's definitely there. Uh, so we are very excited. We're working towards uh, defining a, a resource, but we will have to uh, likely drill a little bit more. So basically that's what, what we're on. So, no, the good news is, is that um, we're, we were basically hitting things that we want to hit and yes. we're just looking to see how big we can get it now. And then you have standard and you have the other two, which uh, I guess we'll talk about next time because I'm really yes. excited about this Laco Bulo and uh, the standard. Just so everybody knows, I'm going to be putting up a pro... Oh. Sorry, just so, just so that everybody knows, I'll be putting up uh, your press release uh, that you had done in the description. And yes. uh, I'll be sharing that as well for everybody on the Twitter, uh, the LinkedIn. So you guys can go and find this uh, everywhere. We'll be sharing this everywhere. I, I have uh, two specific questions uh, for you today, um, if you don't mind me asking you. Um, okay. Concerning uh, either or or your, all your projects, like what are the biggest challenges you anticipate facing as you bring your mind into production and how do you plan to mitigate these challenges? Challenges. Oh my God. Why are you asking me about challenges? <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> that's, uh, that's fair. Let's, let's talk about challenges. I mean, there's okay. obviously mining uh, is, is a challenging sector and, um, and so strategic metals uh, and by strategic, I mean, the lithium, the graphite, the manganese, all of these materials that are going into these electric vehicles yes. and green technologies are, some of them are called minor metals uh, because they produce as byproducts. Mm. And, uh, but for the most part, uh, they are strategic and some are really critical. And, and so there are naturally uh, challenges in processing them. Um, and, um, and now we'll go, um, to various points. So when you when you look at the technical challenges, um, I'll start with um, some of the the technical things that we need to do. So the first step, as we discuss, is the resource, right? So in the yes. case in the case of uh, of Lac Obulio, it's very similar to Lac Brazil, in the sense that you have this zones of mineralization, okay. which is which are like anywhere from five to 10, 15 meters wide and would relatively high grade. And they, they, they go into foldings and they change directions. And so it is a little bit of a challenge to okay. find define the resource. What we are hopeful of is that like the zeal, uh, as per the NI43101 report that actually Northern uh, Graphite put out, shows that it's you know how how ultimately what they mined and um what they mined and 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 that was was fairly very fairly structural fairly fairly i'd say complex okay and and so and we have something similar because you know we we, we right there we you know a couple meters away you know yeah absolutely you know so it's 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 not uh, it's not it's not that that far and we likely have um the, the the extension uh, of, of of that mine on our on our site and and that's what we're working towards to 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 prove right well, I, um, i'm sorry not to interrupt you, but if i remember if i recall i mean even to get onto your site i mean it was the uh you had to go through the actual gates that were uh for the emirates that's, uh that's right so the emirates uh, right off gates, the road <laughs> yeah so they are on our claims right so we have yeah. all these claims and that is the road that goes to their to their yeah. to their site, and that that road is, is in in our claim. So that basically shows uh, how how close we are. So the the, the historical pit is perhaps uh, you know a kilometer away or so. Yeah, not uh, or far. Two kilometers. You know, it's 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 it's, it's not far, no. and uh, the, the closest zone is just a couple of hundreds of meters away. Uh, it's zone uh, zone one, then we have other zones. So we really, you know, anyways, you can go to the, our website. Your 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 listeners can can go to our website and they can see a picture of our claims and where their mine is, and, and it's all in in the same in the same picture. It's, yeah, and 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 just for the close. listeners out there, I remember that uh, you know you're so close to like towns, you're you're close to the roads, the infrastructure is all in place. I mean, you're next to like big towns. I don't remember the big one that was not too far away from you. 
Um, yes, it's um, uh, Mont, Mont Laurier. Yeah, Mont Laurier. I mean, very well known. I mean, actually, I went there about a month ago uh, with my friend because he has a place up there. Very beautiful yes. area. It, I mean, accessible. Lots of trucks on, uh, on those highways. So, I mean, look, uh, and the electricity, you have everything that you need. It's, I mean, it's, it's not right many there. challenges. No, not no. not in terms of uh, not in terms of infrastructure. No, no. Absolutely not. That would not be uh, a challenge at all. You know, we have power lines going across our our yeah our property. It's great. There's enough uh, water in the area. Yeah, oh well. God, yeah. There's lakes uh, everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> so that that definitely will not will not be will not be a challenge. Well, so you know, once. There's... Go ahead. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Once, <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Once, what? once, once we define a resource, yeah, that will okay. be, and we we looking forward to do this this year. Yeah, that yeah. will be one less challenge for us. Oh, I'm, so, amazing! And, we, and and that we we really looking forward to that. Hopefully by December we we might even be able to put a resource estimation out an I forty three one report. So wow, so that's that is uh, that is one. You know, and then when you. When you talk about strategic metals, usually you'll see that a lot of companies, even the lithium companies as well, they put information about a pilot plant, the pilot plant, yes, the processing. Yes, yes. And you you see that it, you're less likely to see that with gold, for instance, because it's well known. Yeah. So uh, for graphite, it's probably one of the simplest. So we will do a flotation step, beneficiation, physical, you know, uh, beneficiation step. Um and um, which is flotation, and that will produce uh, a product which is sellable, which is usually more than 95%. Historically, um, there was some work done uh, on, on the material you know, in, in our property, and, and they achieved with very preliminary tests about 96%. And we, we think oh. we should be able to get that or even better wow. with just the flotation stage. I don't think the metallurgy, as far as the initial stage, will be challenge you know it all so we should be able to have that product which is sellable wow however once you go in the from away from that step or go to the next stage um you have to produce a highly pure anode material hmm. uh, and and that will be a challenge okay for various reasons so the first reason is that china controls that they they know how to do it. They have uh, the technology. They do it competitively. They do it cheaper. And so there is, there will be a, a learning curve, not just for Grafano, but for all the other companies out there that are claiming that they are going to produce a graphite anode material. Oh, I see, I see. So in our case, we would like, hopefully, to be able to partner with a company that already has that, that experience. I see. Now. Yes. The challenge also comes in because as you, some of your listeners might have noticed, um, the Canadian government uh, do not want mining companies to be collaborating or to receive investment from Chinese companies. Yes. So a couple uh, months ago now, I think um, the, the government um, told Certain companies that have lithium companies that have received investments from the Chinese to basically give those funds back, and yes. uh, because they were not happy with that with that investment, and I, I think it will be likely similar for all other strategic metals, including graphite as well. So, bringing Chinese investment or Chinese partnerships will be difficult. Oh yeah. And, I understand. But fortunately, um, graphite is also used, it is also produced in other parts of Asia, like India and so forth. And we have been approached by companies in those countries as well. So oh. there is a possibility of partnering with non-Chinese, but that is definitely a challenge that ourselves and other, so our, our peers will face if they decide to go downstream and produce these high pure uh, advanced material that goes to to electric vehicles. So yeah. that's something to to pay attention to. That's so interesting because it, yeah, well, that is very interesting to hear because it's true with uh, all the sectors. China is like the lead in that, and looks like we're gonna have to adapt. Uh, and that's just like the way it goes. And you know, and that is basically leads me up to the next question, which is really down into where you were heading off. You know, um, so basically, how do you envision 
you know, uh, your company contributing to the broader graph, right? Basically, industry and the development of the sustainable technologies that you know is relied on for this critical minerals. So basically, how do we envision it? What you know, with all the things that you're saying, like, what what are we looking at here? Basically, right. So there is great demand. Uh, Benchmark um, put out an estimate uh, for for demand uh, of of graphite, um, and um, you know, and and it's most companies, consulting companies that do those forecasts, they're looking at demand uh, to increase four times compared to you know what was in 2020, for instance. Yes. And so this uh, benchmark report, for instance, they were saying that uh, demand for anode material last year increased 46%, while the production of lead graphite was only about 14%. So the demand is growing higher, faster than than production. So there is need for many, many um, mines, graphite mines. And we have one that's going out soon, so... Exactly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, uh, so most of the production right now is coming from Africa, and there are various projects in Quebec. Um, but uh, I think what we will bring, which is unique, and we you 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 actually alluded to that earlier, is is you know our our project has is close to infrastructure. So compared to other projects that are perhaps more advanced than ours. Yes. And. Um, and we are in an area that has produced, you know, yeah. graphite be- before. We have a pit right yeah. there, and we are yeah. close to the only producer in North America. Yeah. So we are very um, confident that we will be able to define a resource. So the way we want to do this, we don't want to be drilling forever, and no. we could. Um, so what we want to do is to be able to define perhaps a relatively small resource initially okay. and target a relatively small production relative to uh, the world production anyways, okay. perhaps something yes. like 15 or 20,000 tons per year. Oh, okay. yeah. That's and, so then, and then supply the immediate market here in North America. And, 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 and that is, I think, more realistic. Because if you think about how many electric vehicles were produced in Canada. Yes last year, none, (laughs) okay? So they're not being produced yet. So there are some hybrids that are produced in Canada, probably about 9,000 per year or something like that. Crazy. So just for your listeners to understand, Canada, um, it's a producer, it's probably ranked number 12 in the world for for, for vehicles, um, passenger vehicles, uh, that is. And, um, And it produces about 2 million vehicles. Oh, it's nothing. And none of it is electric yet. Wow. So what we're trying to do is to be able to develop our project as soon as possible yes. and be able to um, have enough material that can, um, you know, be able to supply, uh, you know, North American, needs. North American needs, immediately wow. Canadian needs. Yes. There are battery companies um battery makers that have made commitments to come to Canada. And there are uh companies that uh you know will have to come to Canada to help us out uh with production of these highly advanced anode materials that goes into uh these batteries uh for electric vehicles. Wow. So uh... starting small rather than trying to do a multi-billion dollar project, which you know, we'll have financing, much higher financing challenges and risk. What we want to do is find a resource, advance that, uh, be able to produce anode materials and supply that timely uh, to battery makers that are set, setting up shop in, in Canada so Absolutely. that they can supply uh, to the Canadian and, and the American. Yeah, it brings in cash, brings in revenue. And at the same time, nothing stops you from, you know, uh, continuing to look for more. That's right. That's right. So Very that smart. is really the strategy that we're like looking it. for. Um, and I hope the market will understand that. So we only been listed for a year and a half. So we, brand, we are really oh, new. Yeah. 
And, you know, one of our challenges has been to have our name out there and explain our story. So we appreciate you, Albert, for, uh, you know, oh, inviting no, I love us your story. And, and allow us to, to tell our story. Oh, I love your story. And you're, you know, and like you said, it's been a year and you guys are moving pretty fast. Like I have to admit, like I've been looking, you know, I, part of what I do is I just, I keep on looking at companies and companies and companies. Right. And then some, you know, they're just, you know, let's just Same leave it at that. Sure. Whereas they look at you and you know what you said in our last interview, look, you've done it all. I mean, there's not one thing that you have not done. You've done it all very aggressive in a very good way. And, uh, you know, you're checking off everything, everything. And so, you know, a lot of respect, that's for sure. And I'm very excited about Thank your company you. and in the direction it's going now, you know, to, cause I want to leave stuff for other interviews. We'll just, <laughs> we'll end. I do. Honestly, I would like to leave a lot of stuff for more interviews. Um, yeah. just to mm -hmm. end off basically, uh, what can you tell, um, you know, the viewers or potential investors, what's in, what's the next steps basically. Right. So we um, last week started uh, the spring program. So we back at uh, at the LAC OBO and standard and uh, we're looking to do more uh, drilling to see expansion to the areas that of mineralized areas uh, that we found during drilling. Okay. And we are also going to do some infield drilling and that will help us to define a resource. So that probably is going to be the most important event uh, that your listeners should be looking for is the is this resource to actually tell the world and you know that we have uh, a resource of sorts uh, you know NI43 43101 compliant resource and um, and we also going to do some mythological work just really to show that it's possible to float these materials and, uh, and offer more information about flake uh, graphite and how you know it, it can be used uh, for you know for the EV sector. All so right, that well, is that is what um, that that's what comes next. So it's quite exciting. That is exciting, and you know what? I'm just gonna I'll end it off there. And it, I want the uh, viewers to know that at the end of this interview, I'm going to be attaching our first interview together, where you do like take so much time and you know you give us so much knowledge on the different type of, you know, like the flake graphite and everything like with such a, an amazing conversation and that people can see like everything that you said, you know, it, it's just been dead on. I mean, you've been working really hard. So um, I'd like to thank you um, for being on the show. And I'd love to be able to do a follow-up interview with you actually very soon, just to talk about the different questions that we may have and, you know, uh, sure. and where we're doing like updates and stuff like that. Sure. Sure. We'll All right. Forward. <laughs> well thank you very much so everybody dr luisa moreno thank you so much for grafano energy and i'll be putting up the links look in the description for um the newest press release and on linkedin on twitter thank you so much thank you albert bye-bye between plays it's the journey and what you do between where you are and where you want to be research prepare disclaimer between plays has a contract with said company in this video at the time of recording between Plays only takes contracts with companies we believe have an opportunity to deliver a product or service based on our own research. That being said, always do your due diligence. Seek professional financial analyst when investing. This video is for entertainment, educational, and informative purposes. See description for more information. Between Plays, bridging the gap between companies and investors.